Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on a layout and I'm not using the page kit that I put together last week because I wanted a yellow and black patterns and I wish I would have used the page kit that I had last week, but I really like that page, so that's okay. Because this is really recent pictures of Mason playing hockey and I wanted to document it and he was asked to try out for team new brunswick which is pretty awesome so it was last saturday so these are very recent pictures i'll try to insert a few little videos of you know uh, what that entails like you know at first it was two and a half hours on the ice three hours on the ice it was a long time <laughs> and you know they did some warm-ups and then they did some exercise and then they did some puck handling and they did a whole bunch of stuff and then they played a game and there was 30 kids that tried out for the team and they're only picking 15 so you know he may or he may not make it, but that's like I told him. You know what, buddy? You did your best. He tried really hard. And I said, if you don't make it, it's okay. Like, just the fact that you got asked to go try out is huge. You know, our province, um, I mean, it's not a big province. I think population-wise, there's about 786,000. And I know for a fact, because that's how many people that are going to be available for that um, thing that's going on right now in the next wave. And so there's 100,000 kids. Um, so I don't know how many there is his age. He's eight. And uh, but still that, you know, that's our whole province. So. There was 30 kids. There were some from every, you know, city in our province. And it's it's pretty cool that he got asked to go. I kind of want to use that pattern paper and maybe put something like this over top or maybe yellow. Maybe yellow. Like maybe this. Let's try that. Let's cut... How big is this? This was the size that it was. It's six and three quarters by five and a half. So let's start with six, six inches. And then I'm just, I'm just gonna cut and see how things go. <laughs> so I wanna document that. And I wanna document it before we find out whether or not he makes the team, right? So, um, my enthusiasm is not tainted whether he makes the team or not. So, I'm going to do that right now. And then this weekend, he is trying out for a AAA team, which he was part of that team uh, for the last two years so but it's still not a guarantee you know it's not a guarantee that they are going to make the team so he still has to try out okay maybe i can oh maybe i can do something like that oh yeah oh yeah i like that okay there's polka dots here. So maybe I can maybe do a strip of the polka dots. Oh, that's cute too on that side. Oh, that was from the paper pad that I discovered and absolutely loved. Actually, let's make it a little bigger. And the reason I say that is because let's turn. Ooh, I almost dropped my. My trimmer on the floor. Let's turn this into a banner. Let's cut this like this. Oh, let's try to make it straight. 
There we go. Now let's cut this into a banner. Now I remembered that I had some die cuts that is kind of related to like um, Canadian winters and stuff. So I went and it says, this one says, we have fire in our hearts and ice in our veins. <laughs> and hockey is the biggest sport in Canada, for sure. And I've always said that that's the only thing that I like about winter is hockey. And if hockey wasn't here, you know, if hockey wasn't a thing, I would not like winter at all. So I think I'm going to put that like that. I still have this skate here. I wish it was a little smaller. There's also a hockey stick. And this says, hockey hair don't care. And believe me, when he takes his helmet off, whew, <laughs> it's something else. So I did cut some hearts here. So because we love our hockey. We even um, have season tickets to our major junior team. And, you know, we hardly don't miss any at all. We're there for just about every hockey game. Okay, I'll try to use that hockey stick. But I think it's going to be a little hard. Okay, let's start gluing down because you know what? I don't like stuff kind of flopping around. And I think I'm going to get some ink and ink the edges because this is kind of white on white. But I kind of like all the words and stuff. I like that look. So I'm going to use... I usually like... Oh, there it is. It was already out. Hickory smoke because it's not like super potent. It's just a nice gray color. I don't think I need to do the black cardstock. I'm going to put that right in the middle. And then now I'll ink the edges of everything. Okay. So I just want to say, yesterday when I put up the video, I was feeling a little blue <laughs> because, um, you know, my weekend might be canceled, but I'm not going to, you know, today's a new day. I usually take a day to wallow and then I kind of, you know, kick myself in a tush and then just say, you're, you're good. You got this. And even if it gets pushed or whatever, it's for it's for our safety. So it's for our good. So um, I guess my biggest thing was I just wish they would have done it sooner. Like I've been saying for weeks, like, what are they doing? <laughs> Do it now while it's not so bad. Why wait till it's really bad? But anyway. It is what it is, and we will go with the flow this weekend. Um, oop, that's upside down. Like I said, the kids, I guess, can still play sports. There's just certain things that we, you know, the circuit breaker that I was talking about yesterday, but there, he's still got his tryout, so um, we'll go with that. And... and um, it's all good. This weekend, probably Sunday, because Saturday, um, we're going to be at the rink all day. So on Saturday, I'm going to um, probably do the last four page kit that I need to do, because I want 50, and I have 46 done right now. So I'm going to do the last four, and then next week... I'm going to start adding papers into this. I still haven't ordered my photos, but I did download them to my computer this morning. 
and then this afternoon I'll order them. I just, I only have a certain amount of time that I can, you know, be in my scrap room and get pages done. So I'm kind of limited on that way. So the morning is usually a really good time for me to to do that so I'm doing that right now and then after I'll go and do um, upload my photos and order them and then oh I gotta add some color to this so I'm gonna add all my stuff next week and act like it's it's still on Hopefully, it'll only be, oh, this is a die cut, so I need to, I need, it's not a sticker. I was trying to take the, okay, wait a second. Maybe, ooh, okay, 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 okay. I like that. We'll put that there. So definitely one of our digital prints is going to be all, you know, hockey stuff, hockey sticks, hockey skates, like winter stuff. I just, I, I'm not ready to, to stop on, you know, the butterflies and the birds. We're still going to do the butterfly, the birds. We have quite a few, um, like fall things from last year. So those are all on sale right now. So, you know, we, we can still use those. I'm just, like I said, obsessed with the butterflies and the... Okay, I'm just trying to see where I could put those hearts. I want to put those hearts in these. Maybe I'll put it right there because it's all part of one cluster. So that'll, I think, work there. But before I move on, let's, let's glue everything. I really like this banner. So this morning, I can tell you, I totally like scrapping with page kits because this morning I didn't have a page kit for this. It took me about an hour to get everything pulled for this, you know, to find the papers I wanted, the embellishments. I much rather do a little bit. That would have been cool too, eh? If I did something like that, that would have been cool. But, oh, yeah, that's straight. Um, I'm going to go with the banner, but that would be another option. Just like that. I also cut out my title already. Okay, I like that. Let's glue the heart. I like the way it looks. And that's usually what I do. I move on to something else. Think about it while I'm doing this. Maybe I should. No, I think I like just the heart. And overlay it. Beautiful. And then, so I have an embellishment cluster here. So... How about up there? And then it's going to leave me room for that massive pair of skates. <laughs> I want to use it. I think there was a smaller one, but I've already used it. So that's fine. That is perfectly A-OK. -okay. I thought I had more hockey stuff, but I guess I don't. I did look for... A bit too for that. I just thought it'd be cool. I'm not a very much so like a theme scrapper, but I thought it'd be fun for this to add skates and a hockey stick and some skates and I. In here, you can't really tell, 
but he is so much bigger than the kids. Oof, he looks like a giant. Most kids his age are about 50 pounds. He's eight years old. 50 pounds and he weighs 110. He's not like massive by any stretch of the imagination. He's just well, um, like he's stocky. So he's got the weight for sure to carry him. And usually coaches like bigger kids like this because when it starts getting physical, they got the weight to go with it, right? Like if he decides he goes somewhere, there's not too many people that can stop him. We, that reminds me, we, um, we put him in a, a bat. It was called Battle and Game Camp this summer. It was a whole week. It was from nine in the morning till one or two, one, I think. And in the first part, they would do what they call battle drills. And then, um, one of the drills was they had like, um, like a, like a pillow thing and almost like what you would use maybe for football and they would and actually I think it was called the football um hold or whatever anyway not too many kids could push him down if any he could just plow right through them and go do what he had to do they had to put a puck in like a, a bucket thing but when he had that pillow, whew, <laughs> when the kids would come at him, he would just like, boom, and the kids would go like flying. And of course, they're all padded and stuff. And that thing is super padded. But the parents were just laughing because they were like, oh, my goodness. Um, not too many kids can can stop them. And I like this because it's like A, like C-A <laughs> and A-D-A. -A. They do say that we say that quite a bit. So I thought I would put that on there. I don't think I'm going to have room for this, which is fine. I didn't know if I was going to use that hockey stick or this hockey stick. So I'll just keep that one for another page, right? And I think the third one I'll do down here. So I'm going to start gluing everything down. So I think I'll put the Canadian winter with this cluster here. Because for me, that's the only thing that's good about winter. And I mean it. The only thing. Now that I don't work at um, 911 anymore... I don't mind storms as much. I used to hate storms, like even when I wasn't working, because then I'd be looking like how long before I have to go back to work. And then it was just a big thing. Like when you worked and you had to work during a storm, it was ugh, something else. <laughs> so now when I look, I can actually say, oh, well, that's a nice, uh, pretty snow or whatever, you know, and I can sit and kind of watch the snowfall. I could not do that before. That would, it was almost like triggering because I was like, oh my gosh, in three days, I got to go to work and look, they're still calling, you know, like I would, I would, you know, think about, I have to drive on those roads because our shifts did not get canceled, right? When um, when there was a storm, it just meant that we had to drive on bad roads, and it also meant that it was going to be a busy day. And so that is one of the best things is I don't have to worry about that. The other great thing is I don't have to worry about missing any of Mason's hockey, you know, because I work for myself now, so I can just make sure not to schedule something when he has 
a tournament or a game or something like that. They're usually pretty good at letting us know in advance what is, you know, what is going on. Sometimes it changes, but most times they're pretty good at letting us know. Okay, so everything is glued down. Now I think because there's not a lot of yellow, I'm going to use some yellow enamel dots just to add that color in there. And then I'm also going to do my title in yellow. And the uniform that he was wearing that day, there were some kids in black and white, but he was in yellow and white. And that's also the color of his uh, AAA team, the one that he's trying out this. Or that's the color that it was last year, I should say. Every year they change colors, but last year it was yellow and white or yellow and black. Yellow and black, yeah same color as this okay and then we'll put some enamel dots right here and then we'll put down that title just like that we'll put the cover on this because i don't want the ink to dry out i pretty much have all the refills for those distress stains but there's a few i don't have and i haven't been ordering you know pretty much anything so there cut a little bit of the skate but that's okay so i'm going to put that right on the edge right here and i'm kind of trying to see where i wanted to start and end so i want it to end here i'm going to leave a little i could put it directly on the edge of that pattern but i think i'm going to lift it a little bit and what I love about these is that it almost looked like it's stamped you know it looks like it's stamped on the layout and I like that just like this Oof, it was pretty cold in my craft room when I came up here this morning but right now I feel like I'm melting. <laughs> Everybody teases me because what is today? October 7th. And um, I'm still wearing shorts. And yesterday we went to kind of finish off cleaning off our trailer and stuff. Like this is, we're not even staying there anymore. We're staying home now. I'm just too busy. Um, and I find it easier to kind of wake up here and just hit the ground running, I guess you could say. And um, and at night, you know, we work late. So for us to go there at 830 and then just come home the next, you know, bright and early the next day, it's like, doesn't seem like it's worth it. But anyway, we went there last night and I had shorts on and they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, it's hot today. It was like 20 degrees Celsius. Of course, once the sun goes down, the temperature drops really quickly, but it was still nice. It was still nice. And I get warm really quickly. I freeze a lot, which is weird. Like I get cold quite a bit, but I get warm too. I don't know if I could put this somewhere. I think I'll keep it for another layout I wish kind of hope I could put this somewhere but I don't know I wish I had three that's the thing if I had three then I could say I don't think there was another one in the package. Let me look on the package on the outside. Yeah, there's only two. So I either use it when there's two or, you know, I just use one maybe. <laughs> I'm going to spend 10 minutes just trying to figure out 
if I want to put this on or not. So I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to put it on and then see if I like it. I don't want to put it with an embellishment cluster. I kind of want to put it like almost like it was stamped. Like this looks like it was stamped. So I kind of want to do that. But maybe if I put it here in between the photos and then this little guy down here, I can't think what I want to do. So let me see. Let me see. I think I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. Exactly. That's the spot that I've liked the most was right here. Like I said, I want it to look like it's almost stamped on the background. Okay. And then I'll put it up here. Okay. Now I'm going to ink the edges of the the cardstock. What I should have done, maybe, was cut down about a quarter of an inch and then I could have matted the whole thing on either yellow or black. But I don't want to cut anything right now because I've kind of placed everything according to you know, this size. So if I cut down, I'm going to cut down more of the skates. I'm going to cut down, you know, this, there's not going to be a little lip there. So it's going to be right on the side of the layout. So another thing I can do is ink the edges. Now, if you don't find it's dark enough, you can also use the ink pad directly on and it makes more of a sharp edge which I think this is what I want for this so I always try it with the sponge first but if I don't like it then I do with the ink pad okay awesome so that's it. That's going to complete this layout. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.